Have you ever wanted to control what your users print off of your page? This isn't foolproof, but there is a way with CSS to control when the user hits print what happens. So if we go to file print on this page, we can see that it's got all this information on it. Well, what if I just want them when they get here to just have the monitor? Okay, let's take a look at that. So what we need to do is let's create a new file here. Uh, we got this file. We're going to create, this is going to be a CSS file. Uh, we're just going to say, we're going to make the body, we're going to make the entire body, we're going to set the visibility of that to hidden, and then we're going to create a new class called print me. Okay, we're just going to, we're going to give this class to that monitor and say only print me, and that's going to be visibility um, visible. Okay, that's all. So let's go ahead and save that as print.css. Uh, print.css. And we're going to save that to our folder. And we are in the NX folder. <clears throat> there you go. And our, okay, these are highlighted, so that means we got it right. N now, all, all we have to do is let's go ahead and open up uh, the index file like that. And we need to add that to our header here. Uh, we're going to put it right here. We're just going to say... Um, printing CSS comment and then let's actually put that in uh, all we have to do is do our normal link uh, rel equals style sheet href is um, I think we called it print.css right and type equals text slash CSS and then media this is the key part media equals print that's the key right here media equals print okay now we need to give our class, okay, if we were to print this now, we told our body to be completely hidden, so this is all going to be gone. So let's actually give our monitor, which is down here, we're going to give it the class of print me, okay? Now when we save and we refresh this page, obviously nothing changes, but if we go to our print dialog now, you can see that the only thing that they get to print is the monitor. Very cool. The, the most most people use this technique in the opposite direction. So say, for example, you have a print button on your page, and you want the print button not to print. So let's go ahead and do that, for example. Okay, Let's go to the very top of our page, uh, right here. And we're just going to say, input type equals quote um, button. Yeah, button value equals quote print me, or print this page. Okay, And then we're going to give it uh, a class called don't print. Okay, we haven't made this class yet, and that's going to be our button. Let's take a look and make sure that button shows up. There's the print this page. If we, uh, I believe, when you, you have to add an on click, on click equals um, window.print is the keyword for that. So it's save, we refresh. If we click print this page, it's going to pull up our print dialog. Nothing is showing up, okay, because we have our, our CSS file. Let's edit that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this for now, as if you didn't have this file and now we'll refresh and hit print this page you see that that button I know it's really hard and you I'm sure you can't tell in the video but um, this this uh, button is there okay that's the button we don't want the button to show up on the printer okay we don't want that to happen so we can use this technique to then go in here and we're just gonna say don't print is gonna be hidden and then the body, uh, we actually don't have to worry about that. So now we're just going to hide that button. So now we refresh. When we hit print this page, okay, the button's gone. I know, again, it's very hard to see. But if you look, again, that button's now missing. So that way you don't print the print button when you're trying to, when you put a print button on the page to print. That's the most practical use of this, but I'm sure you can come up with your own.